This is a steel bar. It's heavy and it's wide. People aren't making it through those steel bars. Built with the same materials and the same look, the first section of the state-built border wall is now up in Rio Grande City. The Texas Tribune reporting about 880 feet of barrier installed as of today with gaps on both sides. Governor Abbott was in the valley today debuting the new construction on state-owned land. Here's Channel 5's Ismar Ventura. It doesn't look like uh, those bars are all that big. I have with me this bar. This, this is a steel bar. Today, the construction of new border wall began on Texas soil. Texas is taking what truly is unprecedented action by uh, any state ever for a state to build a wall on our border to secure and safeguard the sovereignty of the United States as well as our own state. Governor Greg Abbott approved the construction for the new wall six months ago. Texas authorizing $3 billion for border security, the taxpayer money partially funding the wall. There will be challenges with private ownership, but we are finding because of the record surge of illegal immigration that we are finding farmers and ranchers that want to contribute property and easements to construct Texas wall. Abbott expressed that Texas will be finishing the work started by the former presidential administration. Already this year, there have been more than 1.2 million people who have been apprehended coming across the border illegally. Those are the people apprehended and do not count all of those who were not apprehended. Here in the Rio Grande Valley, we've been dealing with this for decades. Under every president for the last several decades, we've had a humanitarian crisis. But yet, here in the valley, we are resilient and we find ways, creative ways, uh, collaborative ways to address this. The Texas leader also saying that the new wall will be equipped with surveillance cameras and movement detection sensors, even though he did not share when the entire wall would be completed. Governor Greg Abbott claiming that this wall is impossible to penetrate because it is made of heavy steel and secured against the floor with cement. He says he hopes to continue receiving support so that he can finish this project as quickly as possible. In Rio Grande City, Ismar Ventura, Channel 5 News. According to the state's crowdfunding website, borderwall.texas.gov, the Texas government has already raised more than $54 million from people in the United States for the construction of the new wall. And this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the state-built wall to the federal one put up during previous presidential administrations. Both you can see using tall steel beams. Our state's border with Mexico is 1,254 miles long. An estimated 1,000 miles has no man-made border barrier.